What's up Tesla family, it's Ray J back with another video. And this I want to talk about what's happening with the markets. Let me first mention that I am not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also guys, don't forget to smash the like button. Anyways, talking about the markets, I want to break down something very, very important. In my video from yesterday, I was very bullish in the markets, and that was correct, at least for the most part. The majority of stocks are green right now, like NVIDIA, SPY, ES, and the list goes on. The Tesla has been quite lackluster after getting a nice bounce yesterday. It's actually coming back down. So it is what it is for Tesla. But I just wanted to call out something very important. So uh, in the morning when I uploaded my first video, I was bullish on the markets. We got a very, very nice pump. But then after getting this dump, I was a little bit concerned that the market was turning kind of lackluster. This was correct for some stocks and also crypto out there. Bitcoin is down. Tesla is also down. And there's some stocks like, uh, for example, like Google that are down. But there's a big but as time went on, the buyers came back and they're now pushing the market above the highs from the day. So I just wanted to make uh, an adjustment about that and kind of address uh, my mistake. Uh, I admit that I'm human and I can make mistakes. I'm not always going to be correct about everything. And um, I think I, I turned a little bit too, uh, I would say like I was, I was, I thought the market would be a little bit too lackluster uh, from a broader sense, at least in my second video of the day. Uh, but I wanted to just make an adjustment over there and just admit that, uh, you know, I, I did make a little mistake there and I wanted to just correct that. So that's what I'm going to do in this video. So starting off with Tesla, right after we got CPI, Tesla did pump a little bit only to dump back down. Tesla is currently at this 202 support. If this doesn't hold, you're going to be looking at this 200 area, which is exactly where Tesla went to for the low. And if we do hold this, we're looking at essentially 204 and 205 is resistance areas. That's where we have our EMAs and also this resistance. So Tesla's kind of lackluster. It's down 2% whereas the market's trying to get bought back up. So I was correct about this from the very beginning about how Tesla would get this rejection. Since the morning, I did talk about that possibility. But where I was wrong was with SPY and a few others. So SPY is attempting to rebound right over here, doing a good job so far. Uh, but we're going to be looking at this 544 area, okay? If we hold 544, look at 545 as resistance, break down, we're going up closer to 547. If we don't hold 544, there's going to be a risk of us coming back down towards 543. This is where we had this resistance. And then below that, so we could be dipping all the way back down to 541.5. 541.5 is an area where we saw a lot of volatility, at least for SPY in the morning. So this is going to be a very, very important range to watch for, at least on SPY. Uh, so we'll be watching to see how this ends up performing. We do have some tight support right here, so we'll see how well it does. But I just wanted to say that this was uh, made a very, very nice move to the upside, very, very uh, strongly. So it made a great move. And right now, the bulls are still winning. The market is back to the green. So SPY ended up doing better than what I was predicting, but so far, so good. For NVIDIA, we dumped down to about this 112 area only to get bought back up. We're looking at 118 as resistance. If we break this, we're going back up to 120, okay? And then higher levels. And if we lose this, look at 116 as supports. If that breaks, we have 112 as a very, very important area. Right now, NVIDIA got a nice V-shaped recovery. It's holding up very nicely. It may shuffle in this range. And there is still some upside potential since the trend is bullish. So we'll see how NVIDIA does, but so far, so good. Now, crypto is a little bearish. I was correct about Bitcoin here forming a double top and coming down. This was a good... Uh, move and this could have been a nice short. So you're looking at 58,600 as our supports. I think there's a risk of us coming down lower towards that. Looking at ES, we dipped. So what worried me about ES was the fact that we rejected off our 200 EMA the four hour initially. And I, I was worried that this could lead to a bigger rejection. But instead, what happened was after one hour, the buyers came back and they pumped us right back up and we're approaching 5,500. So the point I'm trying to make is that this rejected off resistance kind of strongly, then it got bought back up like crazy. And that's the reason why, you know, my video was kind of like uh, a little bit off in my, my second video of the day, because we got this big rejection only to get bought back up above a tough resistance. So it's very tricky. So it is what it is, guys. Uh, but now that we've gotten bought back up, as long as we're above our four hour 200 EMA, we do favor upside. Let me show you what this looks like. So on the four hour, you guys can see this red line. Uh, we got a big drop only to get bought back up, and now we're back to bullish. So we still favor the upside quite strongly. For others out there like um, the QQQ, watch 464 as our resistance. If we break 464, we could be looking for 
Uh, we have a tight, uh, a very, very minor resistance at 466 and 468 is coming next. And if you reject on 464, we'll be looking for basically 458 as our next support. So, so far, we're doing a good job at holding up. Uh, Apple is doing a good job. We're looking at 222 as our resistance. If we break 222.5, I'll be looking for a push for 224. And if we fail to hold 222, we're looking for basically 220. So far, we do favor up, so we're doing a good job. The IWM, we're doing a good job as well. Uh, we dipped quite a bit, rejected off our EMAs, only to get bought back up. We're still kind of stuck in the middle. Look at the support at 206.8. We're still holding up. If we lose that, we could dip. If we hold above this, we could try to rebound. So, so far, so good. Coinbase is dipping a little bit. We got to see if we could hold 195 or not. I did mention in my morning video this was looking kind of weak to me. That is correct. This is a little bit weak right now. Uh, if we fail to hold 192, look for a dip for 188. And then for Amazon, it's the same thing. If we don't reclaim 172, we're going to be looking for basically 168. So be careful with that. For Meta, we had resistance. Uh, what I told you all is watch 525 is key support. If we lost that, I would turn more bearish. We never lost that. So, you know, my analysis was valid. Uh, we're going to be looking at 534 as our resistance. If we break through that, we turn back up. We have support at 530 and 525. There is a risk of us dipping lower if we don't hold 530. So watch for that on Meta. It's kind of shuffling right now. Watch 417's resistance on Microsoft. If that breaks, we're going to 420. If not, we're retracing to about 412. So far, it's kind of tough, and we haven't done a great job at holding up, so be careful about that. And for Google, we got a big rejection. I, I said since the morning that this was looking bearish, so that was correct. So I was correct about a couple of things, but also wrong about a few others, so I'm willing to admit that. Uh, uh, find yourself someone else on YouTube that's willing to admit that they're wrong. But I just want to say that Google looks kind of lackluster to me. I could be looking for a retest of 160. And I just want to call it out. But SPY is still holding up very well. We're going to be looking at this 544 area as a key level. If we could break this... Uh, this whole 544 zone, so that, that's between 544 and 545, there's going to be more upside coming. Tesla, on the other hand, is still lackluster, just like I said in my second video. So we'll see how it does, but there is still that risk of us dipping lower, closer to 200. There are a lot of buyers trying to defend 200, so just because we touch that does not mean we're just going to you know, continue to dump. But look at that as one support and see how well it holds up from there. All right, so that's going to be our critical support, that 200 area. We'll see if Tesla holds that. And with that being said, I just wanted to say I really appreciate you guys so much for your attention. Uh, I know I'm not always perfect. You know, mistakes will be made. That's normal. It's a part of trading. It's a part of life. But I don't let that get the best of me, and I do my best to always improve. That's why I'm coming back to you, admitting my faults and doing what, what I can to give you guys a more accurate analysis. So I hope you guys have a great day. Make sure you watch your levels carefully. I'll be back in a couple of hours to give you guys another update. Until then, take care, and I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you, and peace out.